And right now at 6 o'clock, sophisticated skimming. Thieves are getting savvy, learning ways to steal your ATM information using Bluetooth technology. It's happened in several locations in our area, and it's making it harder to stay ahead of the crooks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. The Philadelphia Police Major Crimes Unit is calling this a theft ring and are searching for at least two suspects tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live in Center City with what police want you to do to protect yourself. Yeah, well, Jessica, we're told by detectives and the police here, the only way you really can prevent yourself from becoming a victim is to go inside the bank and get cashed out from a human being, a teller. But they say if you do use your ATM, make sure you cover up that pin pad with your other hand. They can be placed almost anywhere. And they're not much bigger than a quarter. That's something that is always, you know, something you got to worry about. Skimmers are getting smaller and the people installing them getting more creative and making the devious devices blend into their surroundings. It'll be the same color, everything. You'll never know the difference. Captain Roland Lee from the Philadelphia Police Major Crimes Unit is showing us the latest devices recovered from two locations in the city. It could fit, you know, right into the ATM machine. So to a person not suspecting, it's like it's part of the regular equipment. This skimmer police say installed by this guy. Employees at this Univest Bank on Ron Street in the Fox Chase section of Philly confirm one was installed on their exterior ATM. Captain Lee says another discovered at a bank on Moorhead Street in Willow Grove and the suspect may be part of a larger ring. Besides the Fox Chase and Moorhead Street skimmers, Abington police looking for this man who targeted a citizen's bank in their township. Nowadays, you can't not be afraid. You know, Equifax last week and then all the skimming devices and stuff like that. It's definitely always thinking about it. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, Captain Lee says contact police and your bank if you notice unauthorized ATM withdrawals. And whenever you're at any ATM. Got to do a quick sweep. Make sure everything is legit. And then when I put my code in. Cover, cover, and, and type in your PIN. Even if no one's around you. Yep, yep, exactly. Because you never know. Now, besides those skimming devices, investigators also found pinhole cameras directly above the ATM pin pad, smaller than the tip of this pen right here. And those were actually recording people entering their pin numbers. Investigators say in Philadelphia alone this year, they found more than 20 skimming devices. That's the latest live here in Center City. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thanks for the heads up.